Introducing the AM4013FVT. This microscope features 8 LEDs set to 395 nanometer wavelength. We have a couple different types of microscopes that, that emit the UV light, such as this one here. This model that we have here to the far left is the TFVW, featuring four LED lights that shine white and then four LED lights with a UV. The next one that we have here in the middle has four UV LEDs as well as four infrared LEDs. And then last but not least, the one that we have over to the very far right is four white LEDs as well as four UV LEDs, but the difference with this one is the LEDs are tuned to 375 nanometer wavelength opposed to 395. So on the screen here we have a bullet, and this image is magnified at 25 times magnification. And if you wanted to lower the magnification, get a wider field of view, you would just move the microscope up, and here you can see the working distance is around 4 to 5 inches, and we are maintaining a 15x magnification. This microscope does not have to be confined to a stand, we can use this in a handheld mode. And for example, we'll take this out and look at a dollar bill. Now we are viewing this bill at to start out with a 50 times magnification at a zero working distance so we can actually touch the object and still get it into a good magnification. So now we're, we will incorporate the 502 stand and that will give us a little bit more of a working distance and it will filter out all of the other ambient light that's being um, affecting our image. Now in this video it may be hard, a little bit harder to see but you can very well see the fluorescent strip that they do have within the bill. It does pop out at you when you are using this combination. Now we can move over to some more organic materials like rocks and stones and different organisms, chemicals and sediments that have been embedded in this rock that will fluoresce under UV light. So this comes in handy when you're trying to detect different substances on any organic material. Uh, some of the rocks will fluoresce and some of them will not. So that's what you're seeing here. We're going to hover over some rocks and some of them will fluoresce and give you a nice picture. And then some of them will not that are missing the fluorescent um, minerals or contaminants. Aside from the dollar bill or paper money and organic materials like rocks and some sediments, Another popular item to look at would be credit cards and identification cards as well. Now if you find that the UV lights that are provided within the scope are not strong enough for you or not doing the job, you can also go with an external source of lighting as well. We do provide those in a US powered form, so we do have the US, USB UV lights and uh, near infrared lights as well.